paid off to a 5-0 lead. And the official just missed a walk. Definitely a walk on that play. The official flat out missed it, didn't make the call. Ballard on the wing. Chamberlain up top. Doing a good job right there in your face defense. Northgate getting on him. There's Tiedemann. They have Rashawn per year covering Tiedemann. Pataska comes down with the rebound. Northgate off to a very strong start. Leading 5-0. They've got the ball. So Stan Swan calling the play out. Trying to go inside. Posting up Young on Ballard. But Ballard doing a good job defensively on Young right now. Good, good battle inside there with Young and Ballard. They're trying to post him up. There's Perrier. He'll take an outside shot. First miss by the Broncos, and Tiedemann comes down with a rebound. Fitchy wants to run, Jeffers is open, but Tiedemann throws the ball away. London Young, it's Baxter that has the ball, that shot was well off the mark. Great defense by Tiedemann after the mistake, two on one, he played defense against two guys, and he got Young to take the shot and miss it. He's going to the rack. Tiedemann tied up, gets it over to Jeffers. Jeffers hard to the rack, and Montgomery gets on the board. Nice Good play. recognition. Nice play by Tiedemann to stay calm in there. He had three guys all over him. Oh, yeah, we got a ball game. Here we go. Running Young on the point definitely looks very calm and cool. Guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Pataska trying to beat it down low, and the Vikings come up with a steal. Tiedemann's running right wing. Evened up now with two turnovers apiece. And the Vikings turn it over again. Montgomery had Tiedemann and Ballard on the right side of the court there. They could have gotten ball to him. They might have got a good shot, but not to be. Take a look at Jeffers. There's the first layup of the game for the Vikings. 5-2, Northgate. Boy, Northgate seems composed. They take the time on offense, don't they? Bolas 
gets it to Perrier. Jeffers is there, but Perrier drains it. His first basket, the leading score at 13.9 at the six point Northgate lead. Nice little running jump shot. Montgomery's got to answer here. Ballard behind a double screen. He's missed his first two. Montgomery right now with the defense is doing for Northgate, they're laying off Chamberlain a little bit and they're helping. Because they know Chamberlain's not a big scorer, so he might be key in this game to get some buckets under the hoop for him. Jeffers goes up high, comes down with the rebound. Montgomery will try and chip away at the six-point lead. Ballard. Tiedemann wants to shoot. Here we go. Tiedemann gets his first look. Jeffers hustles for the miss.
Pool Plus AT&T Broadband Telethon Raffle. Simply stop by any Santa Rosa public school or watch Channel 6 for other sales locations. Your $2 donation will help provide needed funds for school enrichment programs. Then tune into this year's Telethon, March 11th and 12th. It's closer than you think. Tonight's game of the week is sponsored by Yardbirds Home Improvement Centers. Cresco Equipment Rentals, large or small, Cresco has it all. Holly's Paint Store on the corner of Elsa Drive and Santa Rosa Avenue. And Rob Penrose at Western Pacific Loans. What a crowd here tonight. They have packed them in. Capacity is about 13, maybe 1,400 on a good night here at Montgomery High School. We've got every bit of that. I was talking with Russ Petrick before the game, and he says he does not remember selling this many pre-sale tickets for a home game. Well, Montgomery basketball is hot. North Bay basketball is hot. Ballard gets a look. Misses. That would have been a big basket for Montgomery if they could have hit it. Dan Swan's got to be real pleased with the defensive effort, but they only lead by four. That's got to make him a little bit uncomfortable. Definitely, but, you know, again, they won the quarter, so they could try to win this quarter going to halftime with the lead, try to quiet the crowd a little bit, and again, got to give this North Gate team a lot of credit right now. For a year there with the miss. Montgomery going to now get the ball out of bounds. Montgomery's done a good job rebounding the basketball. Just haven't been able to get the shots to fall so far. Good man-to-man -man defense again. Just all over the drive. Jeffers creates a little space, and he hits the bottom of the night. It's all Jeffers right now for Montgomery. 9-7. Dan Swan may have to rethink that defensive assignment. You know, definitely he and assistants are talking about it, but you look on the other end, Ballard and Keaton are quiet, so, you know, you might want to pick your poison. Good defense right there by, by Ballard on Young. Working per year. Here he goes. Per year. Foul by Jeffers. That's two. That's a big foul call against Jeffers there. Second foul. Coach Pitchy's going to have to get him out sometime. We're going to take a look and see if we can see the colors per year going up. There's Jeffers. I don't know about that. If he got him, he barely got him. And right there from that replay, it didn't look like it was much, of co much contact at all. Per year misses the front end. Pretty good free throw shooter at 61%. You see, per year scoring, he averages 13, 9, 8.8. .8. These teams are so similar. Oh, they are. It's the way, the way their, their styles just match up so well against each other. Personnel-wise, it's almost a, a mirror image. And you can already... Of height and, and shooting ability. And you know what? You don't even know this, Coach Swan. It, it, I admit it, but you know, the coach's style, too. It looks like they both, you know, these guys these guys are both calm and cool on the, on the uh, floor, both teams. Skellinger. This is his first opportunity. Vikings have got to find somebody besides Kyle Jeffers that can shoot the ball tonight. Montgomery in a little bit of a zone defense right now. No. Vikings have made three of their first nine. Northgate not much better. Three of their first 15. There's a block. Foles took the three-pointer. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and take a look at the defense by Montgomery. Looks like they might be playing a little bit of a zone. Foles misses the three. Perrier gets the board. But Jeffers says no, not right now. Pulling inside and hitting is Brian Fisher. Not a big scorer for this team. Great role player. 12-7. Northgate up. Skellinger looking for a shot. Ballard with London Young. Tiedemann has not been able to get on track. Jeffers going to be aggressive here. They and there's a travel. Vikings turn it over for the seventh time. Jeffers there. Tiedemann unable to really get anything going, so they go 
outside of Jeffers. He looks to be aggressive there. London Young, great job inside. The Jeffers, London Young had the call before the officials. The kid came to play tonight. Here he is offensively. London Young misses Jeffers, top shelf for his fourth rebound. Okay, uh, Kyle Jeffers definitely playing well right now. Tiedemann, still nothing dropping for the Vikings. Nice board there by Fisher coming in, the guard helping Skellinger try to strip him. But Northgate taking care of the ball on the defensive boards, not giving Montgomery more than one chance. Back door, Perrier wide open. Jeffers went to sleep defensively, lost sight of his man, and Young with the easy layup. Push Tom Fitchy making the call. Call to play, see what he wants, see if he tries to get Tiedemann going. He's trying to get Tiedemann open. Double screens for Tiedemann, triple screen for Tiedemann. Nothing, Northgate defense everywhere. Tiedemann finally drives, finger roll, got it. Oh my, pretty move, Tiedemann couldn't get the shot outside, just went to the rack, right down the middle. Nice finger roll. Tiedemann finds a way. And that just might give his team and his offense some momentum, give him some confidence. Young underneath, Jeffers has three. Three minutes, 47 seconds to go. And Kyle Jeffers gets his third foul, the leading score for Montgomery. Take a look at Tiedemann. He's coming around three separate screens here. Finally gets down the lane. Nice, pretty move inside. And right now, Dustin Ballard's going to have to come alive offensively for Montgomery after his London Young makes the free throw. Checking in is Ryan Clark, the sixth man for Northgate. They don't go much deeper than six guys. Young averaging 12, 6, and 6.4. Young makes them both. The lead is 7. Kyle Jeffers is on the bench for Montgomery. He has seven of Montgomery's nine. Well, here we go, Tyler Team and Dustin Ballard have got to decide to take over this game offensively. Here we go, Ballard. Well, the one thing I'd like to see the Vikings do is maybe take it to the hole a little bit more. They're calling it very tight. Northgate's going inside. They're getting the foul calls. Montgomery's not going inside enough, I believe, because they could be picking up some fouls as well. Right, and here's Skellinger. Just misses the three. He's a good shooter. Just missed. Tell you what, Northgate D's you up all over the floor, even tough on the inbound. Scalinger had nowhere to go with that. Ballard trying to work free. Looking for Tiedemann, trying to find him. There's Scalinger. Chamberlain inside, he wants it. Chamberlain not a big score, and see there it is. They go inside and there's the foul call. Ryan Clark picks it up. I think that's what you basically got to do with the way they're calling it tonight. Force it in there. You do, and you see the foul there. Inside, official, easy call. But only three fouls on each team in this first half. A very clean half. We have a final from the Division Four semifinals. Marin Catholic with the win. Another foul against Northgate. That one will go against Bolas. Things evening up now.
see if Montgomery goes inside. I think. See if they go in. Keeneman takes the ball and tries to go to the rack, draw some fouls. Skellinger. Here goes Tyler. Tiedemann. Nope. Kelly battling. Per year, great job coming back from the top. He had the shooter and he came back in and getting the offensive re or excuse me, defensive rebound. That's going to be the thing that Pereira is really going to have to work on tonight, guarding Tiedemann out front and still being involved in the defensive rebounding. London Young misses. Tiedemann pulls it down. He has three. Tyler wants to go to the hole. He's going to go. Tiedemann reverses it. Still hasn't hit. Chamberlain fouled. He'll shoot a pair. Kyle Chamberlain, big offensive rebound for the Vikings. Stops the clock. Tiedemann looks like Goes underneath the poop. Looks like he might get the roll. Kyle Chamberlain right there to get it. Definitely a foul. Now we got a timeout for Northgate. We're going to stay up during this timeout. We're going to take a look at the NCS Division II bracket. Show you how these teams have advanced. We tried to talk about this in the open a little bit. Both teams were in the top four. Montgomery won 62-45. North game over Casa Grande, 67-48.
positioning has got to be a big factor as well. Northgate has substituted very little. They should just missed a walk by Northgate down low. 20 seconds to go. There's another walk. They missed two walks on this play. And London Young misses. Kelly has it. The ball never lies, as they say. Two walks by Northgate there. 13 seconds to go. Looking for Tiedemann inside. Now Ballard's going to have to shoot. Three seconds. One. Ballard gets hammered. He hits the ground. And the ball rolls out. Ballard was need. And he hits the floor. All right. Very intense first half. Let's check in with Ron Weedy. Dave, thanks here with Dan Swan. Coach, you held a team that averages 72 points to only 16 in the first half. How did you do it? These guys are swarming. I mean, everybody's helping everybody out on defense. Uh, it's five guys stopping the ball from going through the hole. What are you going to tell the guys at halftime? Keep the defense up, all right? Keep the defense up and take care of the basketball. we got to control the tempo, and right now it's a good half for us. Coach, thanks a lot. Good luck in the second half. Thanks for talking with us. All right, Dave, Pat, back to you guys. A uh, big rebounding edge for Montgomery. Really about the only thing they've got going for them. Intense first half here in the Division II semifinals. We'll be back with more. Western Farm Center has everything you need for all the animals in your life. Your dog will live high on the hog with premium food for good health and good taste. And with a huge selection of biscuits and chew bones, let him make the choice. Western Farm has a full section just for horses. We've even got birds, cages, and feed, as well as beekeeper supplies. You see, at Western Farm Center, we're experts in animal care. So if you love animals, you'll love Western Farm Center. One block north of Railroad Square, the farm in the city. What do you call a place where you get the great quality paint and expert advice that'll make your next project a... They make it easy to get the premium Benjamin Moore paint I need and the color I want. So it's done right. Here. I... CS Division 2 semifinals and be back with some highlights and team totals. I love working here at Yardbirds because I receive the best training and it's great to know that I can use my expertise to help customers with all their projects. Did you know that Yardbirds guarantees the lowest prices and the best service? Your projects deserve our care. Get back on defense. There's four guys back, all five guys back. Then Montgomery. 
Jeffrey Ballard's gonna miss the shot. And then Northgate battles and gets the board. Go ahead and take a look at shots in the second quarter, action for the second quarter. Montgomery working the ball around. This is Dust, this is Tyler Tiedemann going to the hole right down the lane. One of the bright spots offensively for Montgomery was this shot right here. Tiedemann has four points. Those were two of his four. He's definitely got to get involved more offensively. Go ahead, go to the rack, try to draw the fouls. Then that'll free things up for the rest of his teammates. Take a look right here. This is Stefan Folis passing the ball over. Fisher, and again, very patient. Fisher's going to go. He's going to draw the foul there. They called that a blocking foul. And you give Northgate credit. They've been patient all game, and it's paid off. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Sats. You see this high field goal percentage. Say, how can that be with 16 and 18 points? It's because both these teams are rebounding defensively very well. Look at that. Only one three-point goal for each squad, and Montgomery with eight turnovers. All right. We're going to check in right now with Ron Weedy, who has Tom Fitchy standing by on the sidelines. Go for it, Ronnie. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Well, Coach, it didn't look like anything was going right in the beginning of the first half. You had a little bit of momentum at the very end. How are you getting that done? I think we just started taking better care of the ball. We got used to their defense a little bit, and we got used to the, the physicality of the game, so you have to adjust to that. This isn't a normal game. This, is a, this looks like a pretty good battle. Officials aren't calling much. A lot of, a lot of contact on both teams, so I think we just got a little better feel for it. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Good luck in the second half. We appreciate it. All right, there's the scene. Teams finishing up their warm-up tosses. We'll be back with a start of the third quarter. This should be a barn burner of a second half. What do you call a place where you get the great quality paint and... Leading score on the team this year at 18 
points a game. A 78% free throw shooter. Get the feeling that free throw shooting is going to be very big. He knocks the first one down. See, Montgomery presses after the free throw. They love to do it. He makes them both. They do. Montgomery's pressing, trying to get a turnover. Now the drop down of it. Ballard with London Young. Great matchup. Polis looking inside the Perrier. Fisher tries the three. Tiedemann has it. Here goes Jeffers. Jeffers loses the handle, tries to keep it alive for Chamberlain, and the foul call goes against Chamberlain. Well, game staying physical. Chamberlain gets called the foul. Jeffers saves the ball going out of bounds on the outlet pass. You'll see him here. But then Chamberlain, Chamberlain will foul as he tries to win possession of the ball. Northgate basketball. A one-point game, Northgate over Montgomery. Trying to go inside to Tosca. Bolas over Baxter. Kept alive by Chamberlain. Who's ball? They're going to call it a jump again. And it's Northgate's ball on the possession. I think you need I, I think you need to make a decision once in a while and make a call. We'll see what happens here. See Chamberlain. Actually, Montgomery might got a break there. So that what comes around goes around. Honestly, well, that's a call. I gotta tell you, I've been doing high school basketball for 11 years. I've never seen the officials not know or not make a decision. They've done it twice in this game. And this is an NCS Division II game. It's too big of a game to not be in position and not be decisive when you're making Jeffers a call. Inside. Jeffers off the glass. Montgomery leads. I don't know how, but the Vikings lead by one. Timeout, Northgate.
loses the front end. Chamberlain now with three. Jeffers with three. Kind of a hard game to figure in terms of what's going to be a foul and what isn't going to be a foul. Well, he's got to keep playing. Tied up at 24-24. Looking for Ballard off some screens. Here he is. Tanner wants it. He's going to go. Tiedemann gets the shot up and hits the bottom of the net. You saw Tiedemann, he was clapping. He was clapping for the ball. When a shooter claps the ball, you give it to him, you let him knock it down. Tiedemann did it. He's a money player. Well, Tiedemann has definitely shown people in the East Bay that he's quite a player. If you've logged on to NorCalPreps.com, you see a lot of messages on the message board talking about who's that number 11 for Montgomery. They don't even know his name, but they know he's good. Tasca ties it back up at 26. 26. Tasca, nice job dribbling with the ball in the lane. John Kelly going to get in the ball game. Here's Tiedemann, going to ring it up. Tiedemann getting hot. He hits the three for years, having a hard time staying with him. Tiedemann's in good shape. He's going to run for a year hard on the defense, and he is going to bust. He's the man. Vikings by three. Give up. 
first point. Nip and tuck. It's going to come down to the fourth quarter. The team that wants it more. Scalinger gets them both. The lead is three. Bolas ties it at the buzzer. Incredible three for Stefan Bolas.
going right now for Northgate, and Montgomery is going to take a quick timeout. Tom Fitchy wants to cool things down a little bit. 6.17 to go. We'll step aside. Northgate 40. Montgomery 36 in the North Coast section. Division 2 semifinals. everything you need for all the animals in your life. Your dog will live high on the hog with premium food for good health and good taste. And with a huge selection of...
the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. If you want to learn a language, this is how you do it. You need an whole new family that are willing to accept you and take you in. You can only live once, so you do it, try it, live it. Go global. Think college is too expensive? Did you know that graduating seniors who have at least a 2.0 grade point average and meet income requirements are now guaranteed a Cal Grant scholarship for college? Hi, I'm State Senator Wes Chesbro. I encourage all high school seniors to take a
is much improved at the free throw line as the season has gone along. He now has 13 points on the night. Stefan Folis picked up the personal. He now has four personals. Jeffers makes them both, and we are again tied up. Coach Tom Fitchie wants his team to press. Montgomery just hanging in there, trying to find a way to pull this one out. Northgate looking for a way to hang on and pull the, what some may say, an upset at Montgomery's gym. Montgomery team very confident coming in tonight.
believe it. The guy you want to foul is, is Follis. He's only a 38% free throw shooter. However, Dan Swan has him throwing it inbounds. Smart move. Trying to keep the ball out of Young's hands. And Northgate will have to burn a timeout. Good defensive job by Montgomery there. Forcing the timeout. And let's check back in with Ron Weavey. Dave, you can see on that last play, head coach Tom Fitchie Montgomery had his team double team Young because Young has not missed a free throw tonight. That was an excellent decision forcing Northgate to call the timeout. 39 seconds to go in the season. Tom Fitchie talking things over with his Vikings. They trail by two. Been a tough night for Montgomery all the way around. You consider everything. It's kind of amazing that they are even in this game and have a chance to pull it out with 39 seconds to go. But this man right here, Dan Swan, has coached brilliantly defensively tonight against the Vikings. He has. The team's played well, and Montgomery's just turned the ball over too many times. Again, that last series, they had an easy lane for Chamberlain, but he just didn't get the ball in his hands. Ballard did a great job driving and on the defense. It's all about this inbound play. 39 seconds to go. Northgate will try and get it in.
for Montgomery comes to an end. Northgate moves on. That'll do it for the action, but we've got more business to attend to. Coming up next, our play of the game.